making a scratch game, but I can't use when green flag clicked. In this video, I'm going to be challenging myself to make a scratch game, but I can't use these blocks. When green flag clicked, when I received message one, and also hold on, I need the broadcast message one too. Forever, the if then block, the change x by 10 block, the change y by 10 block, the hide block, and the show block. To make any single game on scratch, you need at least one of these blocks. How am I going to do this? I, I have no clue. Let me just keep this here as a reminder. So let me go ahead and choose a background. Let me just do the city. So it's for the player. Let me go for like a, a stick man. Let me go for like a head, a uh, body, boom, boom. That's not bad. So I'm thinking you just control this guy with the left and right arrow keys. But that's gonna be hard because I can't use change X by 10, which moves my character left. I can't use forever to detect if the right arrow key is being pressed. And I can't even move up and down. I, um, in the last challenge, I used when the timer is more than zero. So I guess I can use that for when green flag clicks and then repeat until one equals one because one will, wait, one equals two, because one will never be equal to two. So that's, that takes care of the forever block and when green flag clicked. Now I just need, I just need the character to be able to move left. So that runs, okay. Move 10 steps. That will make me move in the direction. Wait, hold on, hold on. Repeat until key right arrow pressed. I can use that, right? Yeah, I can use that. Repeat until right arrow press, move 10 steps. Wait, wait, why is that? Oh, I need repeat until not key right arrow press, move 10 steps. Okay, so that moves my character to the right. And now I just need my character to move up and uh, to the left and up and down. So let me point in direction negative 90. Okay, now I can move left and right. This is, this is easier than I thought. I thought this was going to be really hard. All right, it's weird. I can't move in more than one direction at once. Like I can't move up and right. I can only move straight. The, that's the price we have to pay. Now we need the enemy. So for the enemy, let me draw a, like a henchman or something. Let me make his arms a triangle. Wait, no, he can be like a like a starfish or something, like a spike. And then let me make it mad, because enemies they always have beef with the main character. And then we let me just fill it in red. Okay, they like patrol the level. So wait. I almost dragged out when green flag clicked. I just remembered that I can't use it. Okay, when timer is more than zero. Let me just see if I can make the enemy follow the player. Repeat until one equals two. Let me just copy this. Then point towards player and move 10 steps. Or move three steps. Okay, so that's working. It's so hard to control though. Like I can't even move diagonally. <laughs> this is so weird. Well, we'll get used to it. Okay, and then I'm thinking, let me deck this guy out with a gun. And uh, I have a great idea. Let me erase the frown and put a smile on his face when he picks up the gun. Americans without a gun. Americans with a gun. And then every so often, the gun, let me just copy this. The gun is gonna spawn around the level. Wait, like pick a random one to 10 seconds. Yeah, three to 10 seconds. Which costume to pick random one to 10. Go to random position, repeat until touching the player. Let me just do like a little bounce up effect. Oh wait, hold on. I need the player to go back to the regular costume. Where is my power up? Hello? Where is my, there we go. Okay, there goes the gun. Okay, and then we can pick it up. So if touching player, then power up. So if the costume is, uh, if costume equals gun, then we need to somehow send a message from the power up to the player to, how am I gonna do that? Hold on. Wait, what if I use a variable instead of broadcast? Power up. Set power up to zero. Uh, set power up to gun. Okay, maybe that could work. Yeah, and then let me hide. Okay. And then in here, um, when timer is more than zero, uh, we need to detect if the power up equals the gun and then switch costume to gun. Okay, if costume equals gun, uh, or if power up equals gun, switch costume to gun. Okay, then we need a bullet. I almost dragged out. Why do I keep on dragging out when green flag press? Wait, I'm using the show block? I was using the hide and show block the entire time. I didn't even realize. Hold on, how am I gonna do this? I have to use like a, how am I gonna hide? Maybe I make a new costume called hide. <laughs> Maybe that will work. Switch costume to hide. We have to get creative here. And then here, oh, I'm gonna put hide right here. 
that hide it. Yeah, okay, that hides it. I didn't even realize that is such a bad mistake. You're probably yelling at me the whole time. Hello, where's my power up? You could spawn any day now. Any day. Okay, it's ac it's actually not showing. What? It, what? I wasn't it showing. That's so weird. If... Oh, wait. I keep on dragging a wing green flag clicked. This is a bad mistake. I have muscle memory and it's so hard to make it go away. So I'm, I'm basically just making a reskinned zombie shooter, but with stars. Okay, there goes my gun and I can shoot. Yes. This zombie shooter is so scuffed. What have I created? So let me make the enemies start spawning. Pick random one to one to three seconds. Uh, create clone of myself. Let me just let me just hide that cat. I don't need the reminders anymore. I think I got this. Okay, then we need a hide costume. And then when I start as a clone, go to let me just make the let me just make the zombies go to the right edge of the screen. What should, what should you- Oh, cheesy puffs. Yes, you're gonna collect cheesy puffs. I was gonna draw like a coin or something. Oh, we haven't put in cheesy puffs in such a while. Set direction style, don't rotate. What? I swear that was just- Am I bugging? No, that drop down was just orange. That was a variable drop down. What? And that was just blue. Okay, something is glitched with scratch. What? What am I doing wrong here? So I- I put set size to 25. Okay, now you can collect cheesy puffs. And then where are my zombies? Oh, I forgot to switch costume back to zombie. Okay. And then where's my gun? Where did that go? Now I'm gonna give you an objective. You have to protect something. So you're gonna go around collecting cheesy puffs, you know, collecting cheesy puffs, but <clears throat> you need to protect something from the zombies what should i choose it needs to be something memorable something worth saving jamal J just jamal we're, we're gonna be protecting jamal so you just you just stay over here jamal health so when the game starts jamal's health is gonna be at not nah, at 100 forever wait no not forever um repeat until okay if, wait, hold on. They need to be going towards Jamal, not the player. Well, okay, maybe some go towards the player, and maybe some go towards Jamal. That's a good compromise. Okay, pick random 1 to 10. 1 to 2 equals 1. Point towards Jamal. Else, point towards player. Okay, and if they touch Jamal, change Jamal health. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this. Oh, wait, I was using forever? What? And I'm not supposed to be using forever. And you... Oh, this whole time, this is happening so often. It's like not even a joke. Okay, hold on. Repeat until one equals two. Wait until power up equals gun. Okay, yes, that should work, right? So if I take away, uh, repeat until gun equals yes. Yeah, set, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I am glitching out. Wait until power up equals gun. Wait until gun equals yes. So hopefully if I take away the gun, then this shouldn't work. It should be perfectly fine, right? I need an if touching, wait, Bruh. I can't use if. Um, how am I gonna do this? Okay, and maybe I need a separate one. <gasps> what? Wait, 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 Bruh. wait. I'm using if too. I was using if the whole time an enemy. How, how can I make this work? Let's see, let's see. Let me just make an, a random variable. If RNG equals one, then we need to do this. Okay, I, I, I can do this. Wait until RNG equals one. And then we need an if touching player. Okay, let me first fix this issue where sometimes the gun decides to spawn. Okay, now it decides to spawn. I don't know what was happening there. Okay, why didn't that take away my gun? Why, why do only some take away my gun? And then my enemy, and then my weapon is not spawning. Hello? Equals yes. Switch costume. To oh, I was using if no. If gun equals yes. I I swear if I had like a hearts, if I had like three hearts, it would all be gone. I'd be in the negative hearts. Like I wouldn't. This challenge would be would have ended long ago. I'm 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 so lucky that you viewers are so understanding. It wasn't my fault. There we go. Okay, and then we need to get a gun again. Now the last thing, I think we need multiple weapon types. So this is just the bazooka. Let me see, what could I make? I can make a pistol. Oh wow, that is really bad. Pistol bazooka, what else? That is one cool looking gun, I don't know. 
That just looks cool. <clears throat> Bazooka pistol AR. Let me do a banana. Just for fun. Let me. <laughs> yep. Okay. Then let me make it yellow. And the banana should have like a one shot. Like it can one shot enemies. <gasps> I'm using another if block. How many if blocks am I gonna use? This is getting out of hand. Next time I do this challenge, I, I should have like a heart system. <laughs> so I can't like keep on doing this. And he's gonna be holding it like an actual gun. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> this is so goofy. What? Are, this is such a weird game. I don't know anyone who who would want to play this game. Uh, and AR. Okay. Weapons AR. <gasps> no! Undo. Okay, that was so close. I almost deleted the most OP weapon. Uh, budget cuts. We had to take out the arms. Okay, this is gonna be the hard part. Trying to get the bullets to spawn correctly for each gun. And since I can't use the if block, I'm gonna have to get creative. How should I do this? How should I do this? If I need if, please let me use if. I don't. I don't. I don't think it'll be possible without the if block. Okay, I actually need to use the if block. I need to cheat. Don't. No. Don't, don't hate on me. Okay. But my challenge, my rules, I need to use, I just need to use the if block. Just this once, okay. I won't use it any other times, I promise. I just have like uh, two custom blocks with a bunch of if blocks. The one block that I'm not supposed to use, and I have to use it, I'm sorry. Because there was, there was no other way I could do it. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need a bunch of more, I'm gonna need a bunch of more if blocks. If gun equals bazooka, change health by minus 100. Change health by minus one. And then the banana does five damage. And then finally, I think we need the game over screen. I'm gonna make this memorable. You suck. Could I get banned for this actually? Yes, I could get banned for this. I'm gonna be cautious. Maybe if I put it like invisible down here at the bottom, maybe they can't see it and maybe they won't report it. Let me just make it like the same color. Okay, yeah. There we go. Wait until Jamal health is less than one. Show, go to front. Wait, no, I can't use show. I could use go to front though. Set ghost effect to 100. Okay, I think that is it. So I think we know the name defend Jamal. Pick up weapons such as a bazooka. And that is how I made a game in Scratch without using the when green flag clicked block. Be sure to check out my limited edition Jackson Academy X Osaka mouse pad, which I used to make this game. Make sure to check out my ultimate scratch course, where I show you how to make scratch games like this, but much better, much better, I promise you. I'm becoming overwhelmed. No, I can't even get a gun. Where's the gun? No, I died.